everybody. This is Dolores Sponge Kimmer, and welcome to another episode of Let's Communicate. Um, today in the in the studio with me, I have Miss Shirley, Karen Shirley. Uh, Karen runs a local daycare, and she also runs a performing arts program. Um, I'm going to let um, Sharon tell you a little bit about what she's doing for the summer. Hi, um, I am Karen Shirley. I'm the artist director for the Community Playhouse Arts and Culture Center. And we are a performing arts program. We've been housed inside the Softcock Recreation Center for the last four years, bringing a complete full-fledged performing arts program there for the community and neighboring communities. We uh, serve young people as early as uh, five years to 18 years of age. They're engaged in ballet. They learn technique, condition, and toning. They do lyrical, modern, hip-hop dance, jazz vocal, music, video production and film, spoken word, photography, and this year we've also added puppetry arts as well. And uh, it's geared to those young people that will have the opportunity to have another platform to speak and to engage in communications uh, from an artist's point of view, but being able to be also be exposed to the uh, performing arts. And a lot of these uh, young people are not able or have the opportunity to in some of the schools because that's Sometimes the first thing they cut when they're cutting the budget is the performing arts component. So we've been very fortunate to tailor a program that's year-round, and this is our summer camp uh, program, and it runs eight weeks. So it starts June 2nd through July 31st, so we're very excited for 2014 summer camp. Wow, wow. So you've been doing a community playhouse. Did I hear you say you were going, you had been doing this for five years? No, actually, I've been doing it over close to 20 years, but we partnered with Softcock Recreation Center, which is in Austell, and we partnered with them, and this is our fourth year partnering with them to bring a four full-edged performing arts program in their facility. That's where we're housed at. But we've been mobile. I started out uh, right there on Lee Street, had a black box theater in 2004, actually stepped down from my position as a teacher. I worked with uh, uh, APS C CEP, which was an alternative school, and just went ahead and started my own black box theater. And there I went from there, and then we did a lot of arts and education programs in other local schools, teaching them how to bring performing arts inside the classroom as another tool for teaching. But I've been doing it over 20 years. Um, also used to teach with the Lions Theater as a teaching artist and, you know, having my own performing arts theater. So now we're in Cobb County and uh, have uh, built relationships with them. It has been very profitable, uh, very engaging for the community because we've been able to also take the children to the Cobb Civic Center to perform. Uh, the 14th Street Playhouse twice, so they've been able to have the experience to perform on professional theater houses, which is kind of unheard of uh, when you're dealing with um, underprivileged children and sometimes uh, when you bring a lot of inner city uh, youth together to, to not even have really an operating budget that's geared to that, but somehow we've been able to manage to do that. Wow. So I see from your flyer you have on down here that you do acting, dance, and spoken word, social skills, music, hip-hop, audio recording, uh, visual arts, video production, vocals, public speaking, uh, lyrical, jazz, and pop. That is as absolutely awesome. How many, how many teachers do you have? This year, normally in the summer, we have 13 for each of the classes. Some of the instructors, they are able to teach two, and those are mainly our dance instructors. They might teach two of the, the, the disciplines, but uh, they are very... Um, we uh, when we sought these individuals out to make sure that they were very skilled, and these are actually performers themselves. So there's not someone who just woke up one day and said, "Hey, I want to do this." They've been trained. They're professionals. They've been in the studios. They've been on TV, film, um, far as playwrights. They've done it all. And so these are the individuals that actually teach these students, and they teach them basic skills and techniques, so they're able to be ready to perform at the end of camp. So it's eight weeks. The first weeks are geared to uh, getting them uh, uh, the basic skills they need so they'll be able to apply it on stage. So uh, they work with the best. They get the hands-on experience, and that's so important, actually working with those professionals that do what we're teaching them to do. When um, the kids, um, are they going to be doing something that they wrote, like for the spoken word, are they going to be doing something that they wrote at the end of summer or do you have a production that you're going to uh... the way that works and the beauty of that is the creation the creative part of the as an artist is allowing uh, 
other younger artists to come into the fold and, and learn the basics so they know how to apply it. But they will, everything they learn in the summer camp will apply to a major production. So all our performances, we do musical theater. So you're going to hear singing, dancing, and acting. So they will be able to um, display a lot of their work as well for us, the visual arts, the spoken word, and we will incorporate that into a major production. Wow, wow. And then will this be at the 14th Street Playhouse or the Civic Center? Well, for the summer performing arts program, it probably will be an in-house performance, which will use uh, half of the gym, and we transform that room into a black box theater with the black curtains, the lights, the sound, so they get the full ambiance of a theater. So usually it goes about, you know, how our budget is going uh, for that summer, but usually the summer uh, normally we have like 60 casts, and that's not even including instructors because a lot of the instructors, they perform with the students too. So it would probably be 60 plus um, bars of casts, and we'll probably use that uh, the, the, the gym this time. Mm -hmm. um, when the instructors are performing, do they have to have so many credits a year? I, I heard something about that they needed to have so many credits per year. Is that correct? Uh, well, no, not the instructors. The instructors, they veterans in in their field uh -huh. now we do offer a program for high schoolers that need community service hours okay now they can get hours that way as well if they want to come and volunteer they can also be participants in the program and still get their community service hours so they can knock you know two things out at one time and still you know have the structure of the program and get their community service hours for school wow and so um does but it counts as uh, don't you have a vita or a don't you have to have it as a performer a vita or am i wrong about that a vita where you have all the all the program all the productions that you've worked on what is that called? well we all the productions that we have on is more like our repertoire a repertoire, of, uh, okay. re repertoire of our different shows that we have and uh, we have like uh, some of them on cd that we have that we can display when we're doing our marketing and then for different ones we do have some things online you can go to uh youtube and one of our shows we did the cobb civic center in 2013 which was actually space of black shades of black and uh, it was a great performance it's on youtube and you'll see different excerpts from that particular show but uh, we do have footage available where uh, different ones can view it and just see what our children are doing in action as well as seeing live productions. Mm. Um, one of the things that we do here is um, uh, Karen and I will be working this summer together to be um, directing some of the children in this area to come up to her uh, program and be able to participate. Now, in your program, do you find a lot of youth? What, what is the challenges that you have with the youth? Well, discipline, and that's one thing. We work with them on the discipline. There's two disciplines we work with, is self-discipline and artistic discipline. And once we can get that where they understand what we need from them and what is expected of them, we meet them where they are. We don't try to give them too much or go over their head. Each individual is different and different talents. Uh, when they come in, they have different talents and skill sets. And some, they, don't, they haven't recognized or identified what those skills are until they're in the program. And then we can help develop those skills, help bring them out. And that's why we expose them to so many of the arts, not ju just one, or allow them to pick one or two. They have to go through all of the classes. And that way, they find that they have a niche in several other things that they never thought that they would have. So, um, you know, a lot of the teams we find, too, we have a social skills component, which is very strong, and we collaborate that with our spoken word artists as well. But it, it, it builds another platform for them to be able to speak, convey their thoughts and ideas. So with that social skills component, they're working, we, we, we do discussions like uh, parent-child relationship, um, bullying, um, self-esteem issues, um, things that they're dealing with on a daily basis, they have a floor to be able to discuss those issues. And then they find out that they're not the odd man out. There are other students that have similar situations or maybe a divorced parents or just things that they go through, you know, sex, drugs, all these things that they're confronted with, overwhelmed with, and sometimes they don't have an outlet. So this uh, social skills component we have, it helps them to develop their social skills and being able to talk and communicate better uh, their feelings and out of that comes a lot of our productions as well. Wow. Are, are they, all of your children are housed, is that correct? 
they're housed in house. Are they housed in an apartment or? A well, now some of the, the the students we on Six Flags Drive, we uh, do have some students that come up out of that community, but we also have students that come out of the Mableton area, Powder Springs area, Smyrna. We've had them come from Atlanta. Last year, I had six families come from Douglasville as well. So we're pretty well rounded. So we did, we have different, I guess you say, economical backgrounds, mm -hmm. uh, and which is a good mix because um, uh, other children get to see how other children live and where they come from. And then, you know, as artists, you know, we're colorful anyway. So we come together in their understanding and respecting each other for who they are and what they have to bring to the table. So that's the beauty, uh, beautiful thing about the performing arts because we do come from different backgrounds as it is in life. But uh, we allow each other to be different more so uh, in performing arts. Right. That's what I that's what I was um, getting at is that um, because you have such a melting pot of kids, it helps the ones that are that might have been in poverty to see that other kids are living in a different aspect. Right. And it also sets that um, it sets a good tone. And then an example, too, just because you might come up out of one situation, it doesn't mean you have to remain that way or act a certain way just because maybe you might be considered living in the hood. But you're. Um, far as your behavior it, it shouldn't dictate that it should still be that you know you have self-control and you know you're able to speak fluently and and be the best you can be mm -hmm. it doesn't matter where you're coming from but with those two different um, entities coming together it's great because children they learn how to respect each other for who who people are you know so and that's what I like about the arts because it does bridge that gap okay uh, well we're going to come back we're going to come back and ask uh, Karen, um, has she ever found a Beyonce? You know what? I have found a lot better than a Beyonce. We have some raw, raw talent. Uh, it's unbelievable. The young people that come through, and we have worked with over, I would say over close to 2,000 students since the four years we've been there, either through our year-round program, which is during the after-school hours, we have a performing arts program, and then we go into the summer months. But just uh, be surprised of the raw talent that comes through there and uh, what we're able to get from them. And when their parents see them perform at the end, they're amazed, like, wow, we didn't know that they could sing or, or act. We knew they could do this, but then we bring out so much more, a complete package, and then just really see them soar and go to the next level. And with that, you see that when they have that light bulb, mom's like, ah, I got it. Mm -hmm. And uh, just see them to, to use their creative energies, their God gift talents that they have. And uh, it's just a blessing for artists because it takes us to another level, too, when we're working with them and, and, and we see these different talents and we're able to bring it out more. Right. That's what um, that's what I'm noticing, too, is that a lot of the kids are talented. They have raw talent. If you can direct that talent at a young age, you really got something special. You really do because... Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, well, it looks like we, we Roy keeps signaling me, so I think oh, we're going to for commercial break. Oh, okay. Um, Sharon, tell everybody how to get in contact with you. Okay. And before I do that, I want to let you know that we're not a daycare because I don't want parents to get it mixed up. We are strictly performing arts, so we want to make sure that you know that we're not a daycare, not a drop-off service, but we are performing arts. We can be reached at 678-499-3341. Again, that number is 678 678- Four nine nine three three four one. I'm Karen Shirley. It's been a pleasure being with you today to discuss more about what we do in the community, and really appreciate Miss Dolores Keemer for having me today. She's been a blessing, and she's a woman. She is one of the hardest working women in the business. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after this commercial break. <laughs> special event? Maybe a custom birthday cake. I know, it's your wedding day and you want a cake that will stimulate your taste buds and capture and create the memories for that special day. Well, Sweet Destination should be your choice. Let master sweet designer Montevia Gamble create a unique and delicious cake for your special occasion. But that's not all. 
sweet destination also creates other desserts from cheesecakes, homemade fudge, brownies, cookies, pies, cake pops, cupcakes, and just about anything that you can think of. So check them out at SweetDestinations.com or on Facebook under Sweet Destinations. Remember, the greatest conversations take place on the road to the sweetest destinations of the human mind. So let's do more than business. Let's make memorable moments. We are Sweet Destinations. Tap Out Studios of Hollywood is one of Atlanta's newest visual and performing art centers designed for you to perfect your creativity. Our 3,000 square foot event space includes a full bar, VIP section, movie screen, and two stages. Take advantage of our Spring Fling package deal for new and existing clients. Save over 40% when you rent our venue for $700 for events with more than 100 people. For booking information, contact Kendra at 404-578-1454. Located less than a half a mile off of I-20 off Fulton Industrial, we are Tap Out Studios of Hollywood, 620 Interchange Drive. Tap Out Studios of Hollywood, inspiring creativity, changing lives, and making dreams come true. This has been a day I want to forget. From not finding my keys, to running late for my big meeting, then having the client cancel the meeting, to my boss wanting to revamp the entire proposal this weekend. This is really a day for a hot tub and a big glass of my tranquility wine. The skilled winemakers of Countryside Vineyards craft quality muscadine grapes into fine wine. Known for their distinctive flavors and characters, these hybrid southern grapes create a sweet class of robust wine. So the next time you're out, ask for Tranquility Wines or order yours online today by visiting them at floridavineyard.com. <sighs> now this is just what I needed. Tranquility Wine. Why can't everything be this relaxing? Tranquility Wines for those times when nothing else matters. Please enjoy responsibly, and remember, you must be 21 years old to drink. Lisa, you've been staring at that computer screen for 30 minutes. What's wrong? Oh, it's my new marketing campaign. I want to tell people how great my business is, but I don't know what to say. I need copy for the website, newsletters, and brochure, and I'm drawing a blank. Writing just isn't my thing. My boss had the same problem, and he called Put It In Writing Professional Writing Service. Put It In Writing? What's that? It's a business just for people who need copywriting, but don't have the budget for the big marketing and PR firms. They help my company tell everyone about the great products and services we offer through our website. And when my cousin recorded his CD, put it in writing, wrote his bio and press release. They even do resumes. They That's good resumes. to know because I'll be looking for a job if this business doesn't take off. Don't worry. Call the professionals at Put It In Writing at 901-359-6629 and check out the website at PutItInWriting2.com That's PutItInWritingTheNumeral2.com This is Dolores Sponge Keemer, and we're back with Let's Communicate. We are here with Karen Shirley. Hey, Karen. Hi, how are you? <laughs> okay. Um, now, when we went to break, we talked about um, Karen's program a little bit. Give them a recap on your program. Well, the Community Playhouse Arts and Culture Center is a performing arts program, and it's geared to young people. We do work with professional artists as well, and we bridge that gap together where they're able to work together with professional artists of all walks of life. So... Right now, we're getting ready for our summer camp, which starts June 2nd through July 31st. So it's eight weeks of intense training and lots of fun, and they are preparing for a major production at the end. So if you're interested in your child being in a structured program, we open up as early as 7 in the morning, uh, 6.30 pickup. You ha do have a 15-minute grace period, and we do serve breakfast, lunch, and a snack. Now, tuition is $85 weekly. 
that's weekly tuition is $85 weekly, which you're not going to find it anywhere based on all that we offer you. Uh, they're getting over 13 classes during the week, dancing uh, 45 times a week. Uh, just a, a wonderful program. We also have a component where on Thursdays we do live concerts and we invite uh, local artists in to showcase their talents and that's part of our artist development program as well. So the students, they're responsible for hanging the curtains, putting the lights up, and running the sound. So again, they're getting hands-on experience and working with professionals. Then they have a, a part after the show where they have a Q&A and able to ask questions to the artists and so it gives them more opportunity to speak and ask questions and then it's a great platform for those up and coming new artists as well to be able to speak and get used to the interviewing process. Well I see you take ages between 6 and 18. Yes ma'am ages 6 through 18 those are the ages that uh, we work with with the young people and they're split up into three different groups we have group A which is our elementary group and that's from five to eight year olds and then we kind of have like two in that group because sometimes they're larger so nine and ten will be grouped together as A but A B and then we have middle school from 11 to 12 and then 13 on up are our high schools. Wow okay and then at the um you're going to be at the Community Playhouse. That's the name of your production. But you're going to be performing at where? Do you know? At the right. Our, uh, we're housed inside of the South Cobb Recreation Center. That's one of our sponsors. Mm -hmm. And so we're inside of that facility. And that's at 875 Six Flags Drive, Austell, Georgia, 30168. So uh, that's where we're housed for the summer. We're well, year-round. And we do take our shows off campus. Like I said, we perform at the Cobb Civic Center, uh, twice at the 14th Street Playhouse. And uh, we're looking at other venues as well for the up-and-coming season to um, kind of venture out into some other uh, theaters. But uh, one day we do hope to have our own black box theater for, and full stage theater where we're able to really just cater uh, more and have a more open building where we can put all our um, uh, programs in at one site and have more space to work out of. I went to one of your productions. Um, my uh, granddaughter was in your program last year, and I went to one of your productions where uh, you had um, some outside talent outside of your facility that were coming in to show the kids what they could do. And it was phenomenal. The way that the kids set up the staging, set up the uh, production, the whole production was fantastic. So oh, thank you. So you really add a lot of value, and um, it's a very good program. A lot of kids will learn a lot of different things. Uh, and to be able to expose children to a whole gambit of all different types of things, you never know what which one they're going to choose, and it's going to be good to, for exposure for them. Yes, that's right. And also, you know, just because they go through a performing arts program, not necessarily mean that they will pursue that or want to pursue that, but just because they've had an opportunity to go through a performing arts program will help them start a, a wonderful foundation to something wonderful. You might have a great a deal of them that might go into broadcasting or uh, some type of news or a teacher or professor just because they went through a performing arts program because of the skill sets. It, uh, performing arts, it builds self-esteem and confidence. And so uh, it's just, uh, to me, a strong foundation which helps with their social skills, life skills, which is forever. But uh, I find it very important that all students learn how to communicate. And we find those students that know how to communicate and convey their thoughts and ideas, those students, they can be leaders. They can go forth. And they're not so uh, easily persuaded to go into games and other negative activities when they have a voice where they can speak for themselves. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. The doorbell just rang, so it just put us all into a frenzy. Um, this is a fantastic program, Karen, and we're trying to figure out um, how, can we, how can we work together um, this summer and really make a, a fantastic program for these kids that are living over here. I uh, was looking at the schedule today to see exactly how many children we have uh, left on Fulton Industrial, and um, I think we'll be able to help uh, quite a few. Um, I also wanted to talk to you about our um, also doing a Nickelodeon. We do a Nickelodeon on the weekend, so we do, do a Nickelodeon on Sunday. If the kids in your program need something to do on Sunday, um, I'll probably be uh, sending the bus up there also to, to get the kids. So we have a lot of stuff happening over here in this area, and we look forward to working with Karen. Is there any parting words you want to say, Karen? 
Well, I would just like to say, you know, um, uh, if you reach a child, you bridge the future. And everyone needs to have a hand in our community as far as, you know, working with our young people, giving them something to do, especially during the summer months because they have more time on their hand. And if we can find any structure program where we'll keep them out of harm's way, doing something positive where they just don't have a lot of downtime with nothing to do. Uh, we all can play a part in that and making their summer more enriching. But if you have programs like uh, Community Playhouse and also like Ms. Uh, Kemer, she's always reaching out to uh, uh, children and, and families, especially on Fulton Industrial that maybe might be going through some trying times and reaching out and giving them an opportunity for their kids to be in a safe haven, I would say, during the summer, but they're learning and growing at the same time. So when you bridge partnerships like that with businesses, people that have the best interests of the community, not just their businesses, but the community as a whole, we all grow, we all learn, and we all benefit from that. Wow. With that said, thank you so much for coming on the show today, Karen. And once again, give them your number so that they can get in contact with you. The Community Playhouse telephone number is 678-499-3341. Thank you very much. Okay. We're going to go to commercial break, and we'll be right back with Sharon Frame. <laughs> a day I want to forget from not finding my keys to running late for my big meeting then having the client cancel the meeting to my boss wanting to revamp the entire proposal this weekend this is really a day for a hot tub and a big glass of my tranquility wine the skilled winemakers of countryside vineyards craft quality muscadine grapes into fine wine Known for their distinctive flavors and characters, these hybrid southern grapes create a sweet class of robust wine. So the next time you're out, ask for Tranquility Wines or order yours online today by visiting them at floridavineyard.com. <sighs> now this is just what I needed. Tranquility Wine. Why can't everything be this relaxing? Tranquility Wines for those times when nothing else matters. Please enjoy responsibly, and remember, you must be 21 years old to drink. Are you in need of a dessert for a special event? Maybe a custom birthday cake. I know, it's your wedding day, and you want a cake that will stimulate your taste buds and capture and create the memories for that special day. Well, Sweet Destination should be your choice. Let master sweet designer Montevia Gamble create a unique and delicious cake for your special occasion. But that's not all. Sweet Destination also creates other desserts from cheesecakes, homemade fudge, brownies, cookies, pies, cake pops, cupcakes, and just about anything that you can think of. So check them out at SweetDestinations.com or on Facebook under Sweet Destinations. Remember, the greatest conversations take place on the road to the sweetest destinations of the human mind. So let's do more than business. Let's make memorable moments. We are Sweet Destinations. Honey, what are we going to do with all these bills? It doesn't make any sense. We make more than enough money to cover everything, but we're still in a hole. Let's check out Madam Money. Madam Money? Who is that? She is a financial expert who helps people like us set and reach our financial goals. This is great. With her help, we can do all the things that we talked about. That's right. Now we can take that vacation we've always wanted and not feel stressed. Hi, this is Tara Jackson, also known as Madam Money, and I can help you clear up all of your financial diseases and those pesky financial STDs. See, this is why I love you. Yes, I know. So check out Madam Money online at tarajackson.com. T-A-R-R-A Jackson dot com. Everyone needs a way to add gold to their financial portfolio. Carrot Bars International makes gold affordable to the masses with the free gold plan dot com. Get gold in 24 karat 999.9% .9 pure gold bullion in small affordable weights. 
save your money in gold, and even get paid to share with others how to do the same. No broker fees, no setup fees, and with referrals, your gold can be free. Go to thefreegoldplan.com. That's thefreegoldplan.com now. Tap Out Studios of Hollywood is one of Atlanta's newest visual and performing art centers designed for you to perfect your creativity. Our 3,000 square foot event space includes a full bar, VIP section, movie screen, and two stages. Take advantage of our Spring Fling package deal for new and existing clients. Save over 40% when you rent our venue for $700 for events with more than 100 people. For booking information, contact Kendra at 404-578-1454. Located less than a half a mile off of I-20 off Fulton Industrial, we are Tap Out Studios of Hollywood, 620 Interchange Drive. Tap Out Studios of Hollywood, inspiring creativity, changing lives, and making dreams come true. Dolores Bunch Kimmer, we're back with Let's Communicate, and my guest is, we've kind of changed our guests right now, and our my new guest is Sharon Frame, and Sharon is, da, 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 da. Drum she roll, was a CNN anchor. She is also a best-selling author of four different books, and I want Sharon to tell you a little bit about herself. Well, Dolores, thank you for the invitation. It's awfully good to be with you. Thank you. I'm, sh I'm shocked that you've taken time from your very busy schedule because you know you are the hardest working <laughs> woman on the planet. <laughs> so I'm just thrilled and honored that you have taken just a small slither of time to have me on your show and to, to know that you actually sit and take a break. That's a wonderful thing. <laughs> well, as you said, I'm a former CNN anchor. I've been working uh, for CNN now for 13 years. I uh, pushed back a little uh, about three years ago to do my own thing, which I've always done on the side, which is empower, impress, impact, and influence people to live their best lives now, to be their best selves mm -hmm. by finding the power that's already within them to, to, to really plug in, to power up, and to push through to personal greatness. That is the subtext to my second book, Wired to Win, the ultimate guide for women who want to plug in, power up, and push through to personal greatness. Mm -hmm. And the essence of that book really is, is an opportunity to challenge people to know first and foremost that they came to the planet pre-wired for success pre-programmed for greatness and everything they need to, to do all that god has called them to do is already within them it's in there mm -hmm. and a lot of times people struggle because they're looking on the outside they're looking for affirmations from people they're looking for someone to tell them they're good enough but they are they came here good enough they came with all the fodder all the stuff already in them mm -hmm. and I simply help them to tap into that and to identify what their purpose is help them really become more passionate about it and make it very realistic how do you take those small steps towards your greatness you start one putting one foot ahead of the other as the as the old saying goes I think is a Chinese proverb that says the journey of a thousand miles begins with what one step Mm -hmm. A lot of people are very afraid of taking that step, though, because they don't know which, di which direction to go in. So I'm there to help coach them along. Wow. Now, you told me you wrote your first book in 30 days. Is that right? I That was the third book. Yes, oh I wrote that in 30 days. No, I actually make that book number four. Yes. I wrote it in 30 days last year. In fact, this is the anniversary. Uh, this month, it was uh, May of 2000. 13 mm -hmm. when I published that book it's called lead her ship the old lead her ship own it love it learn it give it women redefining wealth health and happiness and how you can too I gave myself a challenge because I had a speaking gig in Maui Hawaii mm -hmm. and when I told them about the programs I offered they got really excited about the lead her ship program at that time, I had not written the book. Mm -hmm. And so I said, well, I guess I better write the book. <laughs> <laughs> I only had 30, 30 days to do it. Mm -hmm. And I put myself on this 
30 day track. I called a bunch of my friends and some of my clients and I said, listen, I'm going to take the plunge for 30 days to look at accomplishing one of my top priorities, which was to write the book. I said, if you've got a priority, we're going to fashion a program to put you on a 30 day challenge and come join me for this party. <laughs> and we had quite a number of people, I think 12 people followed us along. And I spent a half hour coaching them on what they needed to do relative or based on their priority list that they gave me. Mm -hmm. And we had such a blast. Folks who were lollygagging and procrastinating on doing things in their business, they identified that as a thing they're going to accomplish in 30 days. We had another gentleman, he wrote his book in 27, so he beat me by three days. Oh, I see. But well, mine was a lot more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more involved. And then we had a young woman who was a travel agent or is a travel agent, and she's been really working to get more involved on the internet and open up a back door for another program through her business. And she did that. Mm -hmm. uh, had uh, people from New Mexico, New York, Atlanta, quite a plethora of people join the party and learn how to myopically shift their thinking and identify one thing, this one thing you do. Mm -hmm. That's how you become great, by doing one thing at a time and being persistent and being very deliberate about it. Mm -hmm. That's what I taught them for the 30 days. I couldn't fail because everybody was expecting me to be the one who's leading the pack, right? right. So I put the pressure on myself mm -hmm. <laughs> to get it done. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. Now, when you wrote your first book, did you have any phobia about that? I did not. And the reason is I had been talking about Wired to Win for so long, it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It was one of my mainstays, my, my most predominant speech topic. And everyone called me Miss Wired to Win. So I simply started a blog. And this is a, a really good piece of secretive inside information I'm giving away, okay? <laughs> if you want to write a book and you're, f you're getting f uh, f uh, flustered by it, start a blog. And every week I would start writing a particular blog that dealt with Wired to Win, dealt with the book I had in mind. Every Tuesday at 3 in the morning I got up, and I was very faithful. Mm -hmm. I write a blog. And then in six weeks, I had six chapters to my book because that's all you're doing. You're just writing blogs that uh, identify what your subject matter is. Mm -hmm. So I and gave you're my... And you your audience. To... Absolutely. Oh, wow. It was just terrific. And so um, after six weeks, I said, well, I've got the predominance of the book because it's, it's 12 chapters. Mm -hmm. And we, we put it in book form, and there you have it. It was the first book. Wow. Wow. So a lot of people have a phobia about public speaking also. Wow. And it's not that the, the ones who do it as professionals, it's not that we don't get afraid or hesitant or we don't have the, you know, the little jitters in our tummies. Everyone does uh, at, to, to a certain extent. You get better at controlling the nervousness or you get better at, at saying, I know my information. Mm -hmm. That, I think, is the most important thing I've learned. If you are comfortable in your skin because you know what your topic is, mm -hmm. uh, and I've done it so long, I could probably do that in my sleep. But for those who do have that intrepidation and that fear, it is a matter of teaching you techniques and strategies to get over the hump and to get a level of comfort. And I do have a course I teach people on how to overcome those, those uh, the phobias and the fears of public speaking because it is one of the greatest fears of life, you know. They say that people are more afraid of public speaking than they are of dying in a plane crash. That's right. It's, it's just crazy because I think we, 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 we look so much for affirmation mm -hmm. and we look so much for people to, to, to affirm and to, to, to feel good about our own selves that we mm -hmm. feel that perhaps, man, if I mess up, then they'll know I'm inadequate or I'm not as good as I look that I, the, the part or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I teach people how to, how to overcome all those blockages. Now, did you try Toastmasters at all? I'm a huge fan of Toastmasters. Okay. When I started out in journalism, probably, you know, three and a half years ago. Let me stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> On the radio. <laughs> I'm still 27. I've been saying that for a very long time. <laughs> and I don't know any differently. And my body does know differently. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I, I got introduced to Toastmasters. I think it was my second gig. I was working in Louisiana as a reporter. And I was interviewing this young woman. She mentioned Toastmasters to me. I went and I was so blown away by the fact that the mayor of the city, the fire chief, all these prominent people were members of this Toastmasters club. And I said, well, I better join. And when I joined, they said, what are you doing here? You don't need any help. I mean, you already speak well. People get this idea that once you speak a certain way, that uh, that's it. There's always room for growth. I'm mm -hmm. always learning. So since that time, I've been off and on a member of Toastmasters. I highly recommend Toastmasters because it's so good for anyone who wants to be better to improve their public speaking. 
What made you go into journalism? Wow. It, it, it is a funny story in that I've always been at some point in time in my life, public speaking. I grew up in the church where I was the public person, you know, announcing. I was just a teenager, but I was the announcer for the church. At 16, I was a Sunday school teacher. Um, in my earlier years as a teenager in high school, I was involved in uh, oratorical contests. Mm -hmm. And all of those types of things helped to embolden me as a speaker. But I think the clincher was I lived in Hartford, Connecticut, and on my street also resided the number one or the first African-American anchor in all of New England. She li she's my neighbor. She lived on my street. Adrienne Bonds was her name. And I remember walking down there with my little notepad and my little tape recorder and sauteing myself down there and asking her all these questions. And she was so accessible. Mm -hmm. I felt as though, wow, this is my second skin. I could do this. So it was from that whole plethora of experience being mm -hmm. a, a very public person so young mm -hmm. and also having a very public person as my neighbor, mm -hmm. feeling very comfortable about that. And then when my brother went to school in Boston, he went to MIT, I went to visit him and uh, stumbled across Emerson College, which is a, a wonderful, amazing school for mm -hmm. journalism, right. as also for liberal arts. Mm -hmm. And I just fell in love with Emerson College. I did not mean to go there. I stumbled upon it. Well, divine stumbling. Right. I was going to be uh, visiting Simmons College. Okay. And it was just around the corner. I happened to walk right down the street and there was Emerson. And I just fell in love. Absolutely fell in love. Wow. Got a job offer even before I graduated from college. I had an offer on the table wow. as, as a reporter. Yes. Well, Sharon's being modest now. She does. She has met Oprah. Yeah, that's one of the highlights of my career. I had the opportunity to interview Oprah Winfrey. The backstory to that is I got a call from her, well, my, my news director got a call from her producers about a story I had done for our local audience. And it was a very curious and strange story. I think it was called uh, Strange Deaths or Strange Births. And this woman who had a son who was dead got a knock on the door one Friday afternoon after they had planned the wake and gotten the coffin. And guess who's on the other side of the door? Her son, who was supposed to be dead, almost gave her a heart attack. And he said to her, Ma, the police tells me that I need to come home because you think I'm dead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it was a situation where there was a misidentification of a body that was found in a, a local river and the coroner got it wrong. And this guy had joined the circus, uh, the, the traveling carnival. He was 21 years old about. He <laughs> didn't tell his mother he was leaving town. <laughs> he was on uh, on the traveling circus, circus rather, uh, the carnival, and ended up in Missouri. So when this body washed ashore, and this guy was apparently missing because his mother reported him missing, they just <laughs> had assumed that it was him without yeah. doing all the proper legwork. Right. And the family went through all this, uh, the technical aspect of preparing for the funeral and going through the mourning process. And when he showed up, of course, his mother is oh joy, but then she's got to get over this. What What are you doing <laughs> alive? <laughs> so anyway, um, the Oprah folks got wind of that, and they wanted to interview the family. I was given the opportunity to go and follow the family in Chicago to be interviewed and to be on the uh, them to be on the Oprah Winfrey show. And I said do you really think I'm going to Chicago and just follow these people around and not talk to Oprah myself? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so I personally called up the producer and said, listen, you know, I'm going to be in town. I want a one-on-one -on -one interview with Oprah. And they told me in, in no uncertain terms, there's absolutely no way you can get it. Mm -hmm. She's leaving directly after that show headed out. It was November during the ratings, So she had no time for any extra duties. And, I talk about it in this book mm -hmm. because when life offers you a challenge, you don't just say, yes, amen, I understand. No, 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 no. When people tell you what you can't do, mm -hmm. you push further because that's your destiny. You cannot just say yes to the first no. Mm -hmm. You can't accommodate people who are shutting you down from your greatness. Mm -hmm. So I pushed, I cajoled, I insisted just don't say no when you know what's in your heart. Mm -hmm. I bothered them to the point where they said, all right, already, <laughs> we will make room. Mm -hmm. The point here I'm making in the book, I make the point in the book that uh, y your yes is just one step away if you just push. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And so often in life, people give up before the fight even begins. Someone tells them they cannot and they say, oh, really? Okay, I guess I can't. No, 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 no. Had I done that, I would not have been here talking about this experience, having the opportunity to meet Oprah, sitting down and have a lovely conversation. In fact, I ended up doing a six-part series on her in addition to the assignment that I was given. Wow, wow. Well, um, we will be right back. We're going to commercial break, but uh, we'll be right back with Sharon Frame with more of Sharon Frame. Are you in need of a dessert for a special event? Maybe a custom birthday cake. I know, it's your wedding day and you want a cake that will stimulate your taste buds and capture and create the memories for that special day. Well, Sweet Destination should be your choice. Let master sweet designer Montevia Gamble create a unique and delicious cake for your special occasion. But that's not all. Sweet Destination also creates other desserts from cheesecakes, homemade fudge, brownies, cookies, pies, cake pops, cupcakes, and just about anything that you can think of. So check them out at SweetDestinations.com or on Facebook under Sweet Destinations. Remember, the greatest conversations take place on the road to the sweetest destinations of the human mind. So let's do more than business. Let's make memorable moments. We are Sweet Destinations. Tap Out Studios of Hollywood is one of Atlanta's newest visual and performing art centers designed for you to perfect your creativity. Our 3,000 square foot event space includes a full bar, VIP section, movie screen, and two stages. Take advantage of our spring fling package deal for new and existing clients. Save over 40% when you rent our venue for $700 for events with more than 100 people. For booking information, contact Kendra at 404-578-1454. Located less than a half a mile off of I-20 off Fulton Industrial, we are Tap Out Studios of Hollywood, 620 Interchange Drive. Tap Out Studios of Hollywood, inspiring creativity, changing lives, and making dreams come true. Everyone needs a way to add gold to their financial portfolio. Carrot Bars International makes gold affordable to the masses with the FreeGoldPlan.com. Get gold in 24 karat 999.9% pure gold bullion in small affordable weights. Save your money in gold and even get paid to share with others how to do the same. No broker fees, no setup fees, and with referrals, your gold can be free. Go to the FreeGoldPlan.com. That's the FreeGoldPlan.com now. This has been a day I want to forget. From not finding my keys, to running late for my big meeting, then having the client cancel the meeting, to my boss wanting to revamp the entire proposal this weekend. This is really a day for a hot tub and a big glass of my tranquility wine. The skilled winemakers of Countryside Vineyards craft quality muscadine grapes into fine wine. Known for their distinctive flavors and characters, these hybrid southern grapes create a sweet class of robust wine. So the next time you're out, ask for Tranquility Wines or order yours online today by visiting them at (sighs) floridavineyard.com. Now this is just what I needed. Tranquility Wine. Why can't everything be this relaxing? Tranquility Wines for those times when nothing else matters. Please enjoy responsibly and remember you must be 21 years old to drink. 
Lisa, you've been staring at that computer screen for 30 minutes. What's wrong? Oh, it's my new marketing campaign. I want to tell people how great my business is, but I don't know what to say. I need copy for the website, newsletters, and brochure, and I'm drawing a blank. Writing just isn't my thing. My boss had the same problem, and he called Put It In Writing Professional Writing Service. Put It In Writing? What's that? It's a business just for people who need copywriting, but don't have the budget for the big marketing and PR firms. They help my company tell everyone about the great products and services we offer through our website. And when my cousin recorded his CD, put it in writing, wrote his bio and press release. They even do resumes. That's good to know, because I'll be looking for a job if this business doesn't take off. Don't worry. Call the professionals at Put It In Writing at 901-359-6629. And check out the website at PutItInWriting2.com. That's PutItInWritingTheNumeral2.com. Hey everybody, this is Dolores Bunch Kemer. We're back with Let's Communicate. And my special guest is Sharon Frame. Hey Sharon. Hi Dolores. <laughs> Let's communicate. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, we, well, now we know Sharon has been, um, as she has interviewed Oprah and how, and did you finish your, your thought about how you interviewed Oprah and how you got that interview? Yeah, I, th- I, yeah, I just wanted to make the point that no matter how impossible it seems, mm-hmm. push a little further, uh, you know, when, when you are ready to give up on an idea, on a dream, it push just one more time. Mm-hmm. Sometimes things happen at the very brink of day, you know, right at the, the last hour. Mm-hmm. But never, ever, ever, never, ever give up. And that's what I learned from that experience. Perseverance pays off. Not only did I get the interview and my assignment, I have a story I talk about all the time. Right. Indeed. It never mm-hmm. goes. It's, it's timeless. Mm-hmm. It is timeless. So now tell me all the books that you've written. I've written Wired to Win, The Ultimate Guide for Women Who Want to Plug in, Power Up, and Push Through to Personal Greatness. That is the book. Then I wrote the the journal version to this. Mm -hmm. And then I wrote the 67th book of the Bible, which is a home study course. It is an opportunity for people to really get more intimate with God. It's a fun journey through scripture. And I use these biblical principles, 12 practical but biblical principles to inculcate in your everyday life. Mm-hmm. using the biblical characters that are human. You know, they mm-hmm. have gone through faults and tribulations and tests and trials, and we can identify with them. And they are principled people mm-hmm. that have a message for us. So I believe, say, for instance, like the first chapter, I believe is Esther. Yes, we profiled Esther in the first chapter. And the title is, Are You a Time Caesar? Do you seize time? And I believe everyone comes to the planet with destiny. Mm -hmm. And she, her destiny was to shift history, but it was still her choice. Um, If you want to be great in life, it's based on your choices. It's not based on chance. Mm -hmm. You can't desire to do things and just think about it. Mm -hmm. You've got to move out. You've got to activate. You've got to implement. Mm -hmm. So there is first observation in life. Observe the situation. Identify what it is you want. Set your goals. Then there's the interpretation. And then there is the application. That is, I think, the most important leg of all of this. The application of what you do. Mm -hmm. Putting your, your action to your words. And that's what she did. Even at the cost of potentially losing her life sometimes you have a dream it's going to take a sacrifice it's going to take going back to school it's going to take you you, either retooling yourself reinventing yourself uh, staying up all night burning the midnight oil most successful people will have these amazing backstories of great sacrifices but you see them on the evening news or you see them in the publications and you see them Oprah Winfrey even all these great people it took something to get them there they just didn't show up on the planet and say hey I'm here no it took a lot of back work to get them to where they are right yes and and that's the third book then the the next book is the one I just wrote last year the leadership book own Mm -hmm. it love it live it learn it It, there are four anchors to that book and it plays on the, the leadership 
and the anchors are owning your life. That's that the ownership, owning, taking full responsibility of who you are, where you are, and not saying it's someone else's fault. Because when we do that, we acquiesce and we give our power up. So when you own your stuff, whatever that stuff is, you own your power. Mm -hmm. And the great revelation with that is if you are in control of your life, which is all about ownership, then if you don't like your life, you can change it because you've got the power to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the, the first anchor. The second anchor is relationship. Love it. How to love yourself, how to love yourself and see yourself the way God loves you. And therefore, you're not going to be compromising your standards or you will know that you're worthy of healthy love and you'll be able to open up to the right people in your life. And, and you just really abort those who are wanting to kill you and your dreams. Uh -huh. You have the power within you to do that. And the third leg is a scholarship. Always learn. Mm -hmm. Never stop learning, never stop stretching, never stop growing, because the essence of life is growth. As Jim Rohn says, the essence of life is growth. And if we're not growing, what? We're dying. Mm -hmm. Just like a tree. It's got to grow. If it's not growing, you might as well go and dig it up and throw it out. And then the fourth leg is stewardship. Always give, always turn back and help someone else. Mentor, make sure you're tithing, make sure you lift as you climb. That's so crucial. It is probably the most important of all of them because it speaks to the law of reciprocity and what people call the law of attraction. But it speaks of, a, you know, the scripture in, in, in the Bible that talks about the, uh, reaping and sowing, sowing and reaping. Mm -hmm. You've got to give in order to get. And it's not that we're giving in order to get. It's just that it's the way the universe is set up. It gives back. It always gives back. And so as human beings, we are really designed to be givers because in giving, you get so much in return. So those are the four anchors to the leadership philosophy. I love how all of that leads into your leadership cruise. You, you, so you came up with the book before you came up with the leadership cruise. Is that right? Yes. And the cruise oh, stems from, fantastic. yeah, the cruise stems from a, a program I did when I did the One Love Gospel Cruise. I was doing the One Love Gospel. I was a guest speaker mm -hmm. on the One Love Gospel Cruise. And I had the program called Lead Her Ship. And I thought, hmm. If I can do that program on their cruise, I can come up with my own cruise. Right. <laughs> and I said, okay, let's do the Lead Hership Cruise. And from that came the book last year. Wow, that is fantastic. So tell us a little bit about the cruise that you're that you're planning for this year. Is this uh, this been done before? Yes, okay. this is our annual cruise. It's called the Leadership Empowerment Cruise. It is an opportunity for leisure, leisure and learning. The reason why we, I, I put those two together, I want people to know that we want to create an environment, and we have created an environment for people to be able to relax, to rest, and retool. It's geared towards entrepreneurs who feel guilty about taking a vacation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like Dolores, <laughs> who works 120 gazillion hours a week and feel guilty pushing away from the table. We create the environment where you feel like you're not just, yes, yeah, you're on vacation, but it's also a wonderful way of seminaring and workshopping and, and networking with other people who are business minded mm -hmm. and give yourself an opportunity just to push away from the table. We've got some great speakers for our seminars. Uh, Val McLeod is one of our speakers. She's been featured in People Magazine at CNN Headline News, Good Morning America, having lost uh, half her body size, almost, or I think over 400 pounds. Wow. So she is just going to be phenomenal in talking about how we are shaped for success and how to be a life changer. Whatever your burden is, whatever your weight is, she's going to address that for us. Mm -hmm. And then we've got uh, Denise out of, um, Denise Cottrell out of uh, Florida. She is a relationship expert. So she's going to talk to women about, women and men, about how to, to, to set up the proper relationship boundaries and mm -hmm. how to, to teach us how to have good, healthy relationships and how to celebrate celebrate ourselves, know that we're worthy and not get into toxic situations. How, for instance, how, how women can really understand how men think and how to listen so men can speak into their lives and vice versa. It's going to be pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we've got Tracy Haynes from Houston, Texas. He is a marketing genius, mm -hmm. an expert. He'll be talking to us about how to market our business properly, how to become the, uh, the, the go to person in your industry and how to also take your book to number one on amazon.com he's pretty phenomenal uh tamala jones is going to talk all about tracking and understanding your money as business people we tend to cross pollinate our funds we don't know what's in the personal versus the you know the business checking account and at the end of the day we're not quite sure how much money we made mm -hmm. or at the end of the year we can't we can't figure out if we're making a profit she's going to help us straighten out our books and then last but not least oh 
<laughs> Dolores will be talking to us about, you know, nonprofits and how to run, how to set up a proper nonprofit, how to profit through your nonprofit. So we're really delighted that you're being a part of, of what we're doing to help empower, inspire, and encourage businesses to not just only learn, but also relax and to take a break and understand that it's okay mm-hmm. to take a break because we're gonna make sure that you're empowered and it's also a write-off. Now listen to this, this is a six day cruise. It is going to three different countries. Are you ready? Yep. Jamaica, Cozumel, mm. and the Cayman Islands. Wow. Isn't that fantastic? That's For six fantastic. days and wow. it's only 550, 550 bucks. For wow. th- three separate countries, six days, all you can eat, everything's included and we're departing out of Orlando, Florida so that you can drive down to Orlando. Wow. When is that going to be? So when's the cruise? It's November 9th through the 15th. That's November 9th through the 15th and we're just going to have a blast. And how do they get in contact with you? Do, they can to... go to my website at SharonFrameSpeaks.com. That's S-H-A-R-O-N Frame, F-R-A-M-E Speaks, S-P-E-A-K-S dot com or they can go to LeadHerShipCruise.com. That's L E A D H E R S H I P C R U I S E dot com, or they can call me at 678 602 2899. 678 602 2899. We'd love for you to be a part of what we're doing. If you call us before the 15th and register, a simple down payment of $100 will get you secured now. Secure your seat now because we've got limited space. We want to make sure that you're a part of what we're doing. Yes, grab your girlfriends, grab your, your, your group, and let's. Go and have a leisure, learning, great fun time for all of us. Um, from past experiences, you've found that a lot of people have gained a lot of knowledge and they had a good time at the time. Oh, my time. goodness. It's it's a win-win on both sides. Uh, respects yes very good very good well the the cruise is called you deserve it also is it yes wow. that's the title last year we had a wonderful title it was called uh healthy is the new sexy mind body spirit mm-hmm. so uh, this year we're doing of course identifying all the three layers of people you know your spirit your mind your body but we want people to know that they deserve the life that they desire they deserve to take a break they deserve it they've been we say you've been working hard for the money right so it's time to treat yourself right Mm -hmm. and that's that investment in yourself is not just for the cruise itself but look at all the great speakers look how you'll be benefiting your job and your business by being acquainted with all these amazing speakers who bring so much value to your life you'll come back feel rested and with great ammunition to do a better job as a business owner Right. So you so you would like to see a lot of business owners take the break. Yes. Because they deserve they it. They deserve it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Cosimo, you don't do you, uh, someone was asking me the other day, do you need to have a uh, your Yes, passport. that's why we want people to sign up now because you'll have ample time to get the passports and uh, take care of all the preliminaries. We are using an agency out of out of uh, California, and when you call up or you're on the website, you'll get the number one eight hundred. I'm sorry, it's eight 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 three seven six five zero four. That's our contact number. Wanda is working with us, 888-837-6504. She'll give you all the particulars about, you know, what you need and how you, you, if you want to have a room by yourself and how, if you want to expand your cabin and upgrade your your cabin, the cost of that. But yes, we have all the details um, out for you on that. Wow. Okay, well, and so that you'll be talking about which book, your leadership book? Yes, we'll be doing the leadership book and talking about how people ought to bring a bigger bucket to life. Oh, wow. Bring a bigger bucket. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, this has been Dolores Bunch Keemer with Sharon Frame. And Sharon, tell them one more time how to get in contact with you. Oh, uh, you can call me at 678 602 2899, or you can go to my website at SharonFrameSpeaks.com. And for the cruise, you can call 888-837-6504. I'll be waiting on the other end for your call. You deserve it. Great. That's been another episode of Let's Communicate. Now, the only way things will change is if we get involved in our community and make the changes we seek. It's Dolores Sponge Keemer, and looking forward to speaking to you again next week. Mm